uh welcome aries i want to say thank you for being here this is the week of the 17 until the 23rd all right oh so <laughs> okay all right so we we see infinity supply so you have the energy of infinity supply and infinity supply has to do with your supply for today and tomorrow and all your tomorrows will be there so this is wonderful this is a wonderful positive alignment of energy you have the color purple in this um, week uh, this week the color purple is going to be a very positive energy for you Aries all right my darlings infinity supply sedan we are using um, the goddesses in this week okay all right so let's go in and see what is coming up for you Aries so, so we see the um, offer of love is coming in so expect love in this week then we see the energy of an Aquarian Gemini or Libran person and I see you Aries is offering this person love I see the energy of news coming in on Wednesday. This is a week where news is coming in. On Thursday, the energy of the magician is in reverse. So a lot of you is offering love to um, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra because they could have uh, come down on you very hard. Yes, there was a sense of deceptiveness. And this is the reason why they have came down on you guys so hard there was deceptiveness and this was in the past and it's coming back in the future showing up that there was deceptiveness so if you notice the major arcanas are in reverse then we see the energy of the ace of cups so love is here and it's about cheating whenever um this comes up with uh, um major arcanas okay so what we're seeing here, the outcomes, is that a whole lot of you, you could be seeing someone new and this uh, person is cheating. This person is a cheater. So you got to be aware of this. Now, young people, young people, I see some of you young people were offering love. And the reason why you were offering love is because there was some sort of a form of deceptiveness in the past. You're offering um, love. Um, in order to resolve the situation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a situation where a lot of you are now going to be showed up. There is a lot of problems with kids in this week where we're seeing that you young Aries, the are Sagittarian, um, have done something in the past. And I see it's as if you've been caught now and... Uh, um, you're trying to resolve a situation, okay? And you are trying um, to use um, your powers in order to resolve the situation. Um, but it could be um, worse because the energy of uh, the magician, magician is a Gemini, and there has been some sort of a false eye and deceptiveness that has transpired in the past, Okay. So I see a lot of you are hoping for some sort of a healing. You're offering love so that a situation will be healed. The energy of the star. I see um, a lot of you ladies, uh, older ladies, you could be going to the doctor. Um, and I see older men. Um, I see older ladies and men. It's as if, um, whether or not um, you are a couple, it's as if uh, some sort of unconventional situation had transpired in the past. Um, and I see older ladies, 50 years and older or ladies, who weren't feeling well. I see love is going to be offered to you. Then I see regrets for an Aries, dear Sagittarian man. So you um, Aries man, some sort of a regrets. Something came out. They recognize that you men together with a... Um, a woman have created um, some sort of a problem. I see the energy of the three of cups is here. So there is a lot of problems with kids. And I see you ladies, your kids are going to be offering you a whole lot of love. Okay. 
I see the energy of uh, um, uh, the emperor and the energy of the emperor has to do with uh, some of you ladies, a doctor is going to be offering some sort of an assistant um, to some of you ladies. So then I see the six of pentacles. They recognize that there was a theft. It's as if managers recognize that some of you young people have created some sort of a, a deceptive play. Light is now shed on what has happened and transpired. They're recognizing that people had collaborated together. They're now recognizing that an older man and an older woman had collaborated together. I see some of you wanted some sort of a new starter and you got some sort of an offer, but I see you guys are not taking the offer. Again, um, the energy of uh, a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person has turned their backs on uh, you Aries. It could be a father figure. It could be... A, um, a boss, it could be some sort of a, a legal situation that some of you Aries have gotten yourself in because the energy of the deceptiveness is here and it is the energy of the Seven of Swords. So what we're seeing here is that maybe you ladies, a child was sick, a child wasn't feeling well, um, that is coming up and I see some sort of a healing and a new start is going to be coming in for this child. Um, then I see that some of you women could have some sort of a problem with your boss that is going to be coming up. But with your child, I see um, some sort of an alien is coming in. Then we look at the energy of uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. And I see that um, they're going to be offering you ladies something, but I see that you ladies do not want what they're offering. I see um, also you men, they are offering you men something, but it is a situation where whoever the Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person is recognize um, that you guys have done something that was not above water and um, they're now recognizing the unfair play that has transpired where people were like kind of keeping secrets to themselves. Some sort of a health issue is going to be coming up for people 50 years and older. I see that a man, um, an Aries or Sagittarian man, was trying to get some sort of a help, but it's as if they recognize that this man have falsified and did something in the past and it's now coming back because uh, um, the energy of the hermit is showing up. Young people, something that you young people had collaborated with other young people to do is coming out. I see people in power, managers, um, for your father have recognized that some of you young people had collaborated with other people to create some sort of a problem or some sort of a mischief. So a lot of you young people are going to be called upon for what you have done. The energy of the magician is that... Uh, um, uh, in a Thursday, the energy of the magician is in reverse and it's in reverse because some sort of a information is now coming out and I see regrets, um, regrets is here and the regrets has to do with you men. You regretted something, what you have done in the past. There was some sort of a deceptive play. You can see that and there is a, a regret. So, so the energy of the magician um, wanted to give some of you a new start, but um, it's as if an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person came up and recognized, hey, no, you men have done something in the past. So as you recognize uh, this deceptive play um, is going to be uh, happening or coming out because it's as if uh, someone did get away with it and now they're finding out about it and light is going to be shed in. And with the light that is going to be shedding is that truth is coming out and the magician is making sure that people recognize what um, some of you ladies have done and that some of you ladies have created some sort of a deceptiveness and created some sort of a problem. I see healing is coming in and the healing, if some of you had some sort of a problem with your boss, with your father, some sort of a healing is going to be coming in. 
I see an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person overcome um, a situation, but they recognize it's as if this person did something and then all of a sudden they recognize what this person have done. Okay, so we see if um, this, um, uh, you older men receive some sort of an offer. It's as if you have some sort of a legal issue. You receive some sort of an offer, but it's as if you do not want this offer. And I see that um, this offer um, is turned down because they found out what some of you men have done in the past, okay? So I see uh, ladies are going to be having problems with people in authority. Light has been shed. Some sort of information came out. Regrets for you ladies and men because we're seeing the, lady, the, the, the women and men. Um, this could be a couple and uh, it's as if uh, um, the law came down on this couple. So it could be um, you're married to a Leo, a Leo or a Sagittarian or Ophiosis and regrets. There is regrets with a couple here because truth came out. Um, Elin is coming up and that is going to be good. And I see... Um, Young people, your boss is going to be finding out that some of you young people together had collaborated and created some sort of a problem. So Monday is some sort of a situation with uh, your health or the health of your child. And I see some sort of a resolution. Um, the pinnacle of the week is young people is going to be affected with a situation. And I see that people in authority is going to be successfully recognizing uh, um, what has transpired and I see a resolution is going to be coming in because they recognize that there was really some sort of a um, deceptive play that was created. All right. So I see a mother is worried about uh, her child. Her child might be sick and in some sort of uh, institutes, the organization, um, uh, hospital. And a mother is really worried about uh, her child. And I see the doctors, you know, could be um, letting this lady know that, you know, it's going to be okay. Then I see um, people are now recognizing because they came down on a, a young woman, a young Aries, the or Sagittarian. Um, and this is um, an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra man came down on a young Cancer, came down on a young Cancer. And they recognize uh, that this young cancer is connected to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man and woman. Whoever this young cancer is, the law came down on this young cancer because they recognize it's definitely a cancer. They recognize what this young cancer along with an Aries have done and what they have created. And it's as if their parents, the law came down on the cancer and also came down on the parents for what they have done. So it's, uh, if you have a child that is a cancer, a young woman that is a cancer, um, you're going to be having some sort of a situation with this person because the law came down on this cancer. And it's as if you guys are the parents and they're going to be, um, you are going to be affected with this. So, um, here I see um, the energy of a sickness. And this is what I said. Women that were sick or your children that is sick or whoever is sick, I see they're going to be finding out um, what is your health problem. And I see that they're going to be helping you in order for you to recover this health problem. Then I see young people are waiting, 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 waiting for some sort of information, waiting for some sort of a news and information. But I see they are... Um, you you have a long wait to go because they're uh, investigating something. They're looking at something. So I see a whole lot of problems and it's as if uh, they had sent you home, you young people, and you're waiting um, to get back some sort of an answer from your boss. But they have sent you home because they have recognized that uh, um, you young ladies and a cancer had created a whole lot of problems. And this is the reason why they've sent you home. A tower moment is now coming down. 
on um, some sort of a deceptiveness. The Seven of Swords is about the sun and the moon. It's about deceptiveness. It's about something that was uh, not supposed to happen. And um, here we can see um, that there was really a huge um, deceptive play. And you young people, young people between the ages of 18 and 45 is connected with this deceptive play. And a tower moment is here. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing back something from the past and they are now recognizing and seeing the truth of a situation. And some of you could have used a high professional person in order to uh, acquire something and they are now going to be recognizing this. If you were uh, someone in high professional, they are going to be recognizing that you had um, some hand in a something. Um, Something was done that was not above water and they're recognizing what this person have done. So I see that um, a high professional person, um, this is a very corrupt person. They found out that this person has created a huge corruption. Okay. Um, here I see that older people is going to be ending up at the doctor. Okay. And, um, um, you know, the news, um, the doctor is uh, trying to resolve whatever the issue is, but I see older people are going to be ending up at a doctor and the doctor are going to be, um, trying to look at the situation and try to help to resolve whatever health issue there is. And that is going to be good. So it's as if the doctor recognized, wow, um, this is, um, um, this is an health issue that we need to find some sort of a, a resolution for. So it is, um, it is, um, it is really a clear cut reading, um, to say, um, because you're ending the week with love and uh, the news from the doctor is not very positive, but the doctor is definitely going to try to resolve, uh, whatever um, the LT issue is. So this is good. Wow. Wonderful alignment of energies. So some sort of a LT issue. Maybe it's you or your parents um, is going to be coming up. So, um, yeah, they're going to be recognizing that you men to get a bit of cancer have uh, co-created and did something. And there was another Aries Leo Sagittarian person um, along with you men. And uh, I don't know if this cancer is your children. So if you are both Aries and you have a cancer daughter, there is going to be coming up some sort of a problem for this person. A lot of you women are worried about your kid or worried about your health, but your health will be, um, it, it's going to be a um, result, let's say it like this, your health it is going to be getting better. Okay. So that is going to be good. A lot of you, uh, um, young people are waiting, waiting, waiting for something, but, um, whatever you're waiting for, they're looking at a high professional person and they're recognizing that this person is corrupt, corrupt. And the deceptiveness that they have done a huge trouble moment is coming down on this person. All right, so that is it for this week. Help is going to be coming in. Um, some of you eye profession people at hope for some sort of a new start. It's not going to be coming in because some sort of information light has been shed on some sort of information. And, um, you know, success comes in different way. Um, success in this week is over. People who were not well is going to be feeling well. Um, people who have created some problems in the past, um, I see it's going to be coming back and they're going to be showing up that you guys were the one who did it. Okay. So be aware of that. Some sort of a help that some of you were hoping for, they're, they're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a deceptive play. So be aware. I do love you guys. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste until next time. Welcome, Leahs. Um, this is the week um, from the 17th to the 20th. Uh, 
23 17 to until 23 let's see what we have easy does it easy does it we're working with um the goddesses and it says easy does it okay so this is a week where you need to take it easy all right there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is um occurring in perfect timing so easy does it leo's no need to push okay um you have like an egg color it's like an egg color and it's really like you know go within go within go within easy does it just go within all right there's no need to force anything to happen let things flow because you're in like seven years of uh, karma leos okay all right let's see what is coming up for you leo so i see you leos are standing your grounds and trying um to get some sort of a stability in your world i see you're trying to heal some sort of a issues that you have been dealing with and protecting yourself i see you're trying to protect your work and protect yourself at work i see some sort of a help is going to be coming in um, for you Leo's uh, I see the Queen of Swords is here and uh, um, you could uh, be it could be your mom and I see a whole lot of burdens is going to be falling away okay and I see some sort of an offer is going to be coming in for you Leo's okay so um there was some sort of a problem and I think your mom is going to be helping you. Whatever is happening and transpiring, if your mom is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, I see your mom is going to be helping you. Or I see that some of you are protecting yourself from um, someone at work, okay? Um, I see you're standing your ground trying to either give help or receive help. But I see it's as if... Um, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person have turned their backs at you, Leos. And you are, you know, your burdens is over or this person's burdens is over. And you are hoping for some sort of an offer, Leo. So that is coming up. I see you're trying to heal some sort of a situation and trying to resolve um, some sort of a problem that some of you were having. Um, so Wednesday and Thursday is, um, uh, has the energy of money. So Wednesday or Thursday, you're having something to do with work. So you could be looking for work, trying to, or trying to protect your business. Thursday, I see some sort of a help is coming in. Friday, you are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Okay. So be aware of this. Let's see what's happening. People are now recognizing and seeing the truth um because they have some sort of a document and details so i see multiple opportunities and a whole lot of emotional imbalance that was caused by friends and people around you okay so i have uh, a lot of you leos are trying to heal your emotional self um because now you recognize you're standing your grounds protecting yourself keeping away from people friends and trying to balance out your emotional self because a lot of you leos are very 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 emotional at this moment and you're really trying to um balance out what you're feeling um in order to uh, create some sort of an emotional balance in your world because right now is as if you have a um, and is dealing with some sort of an issue, okay? And I see the angels and guides is coming in on Tuesday in order to help you to resolve uh, um, the emotional uh, situation. A lot of you have some sort of an emotional problem and it's open that um, an issue between you and a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person is healed. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you're open um, that, um, this is ill. Some of you, it could be a mother figure. Some of you, it could be a friend. But um, this person, you and this person and the emotional situation that is transpiring. Um, you're dealing with two people, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. 
so who are these people because it's as if you got caught up in some sort of a situation with these two women for some of you it could be your mother one could be a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person you're having some sort of an emotional situation that you're trying to resolve one is a pisces cancer scorpion that you're trying to balance and heal some sort of an emotional problem i see the energy of um the five of swords a lot of inner conflicts with yourself worries and this is it this is what i was saying emotional imbalance um the five of swords a whole lot of emotional situation the energy of the devil is here when it comes on and it has to do with your work or your business and um i see that they're now going to be recognizing something um that there are negative forces that is trying to create a whole lot of problem you have a lot of enemies um leos a whole lot of enemies the energy of the devil is here you have a whole lot of enemies um and you're going to be recognizing it in this week again double whammy for you leos a situation at work double whammy the eight of pentacles twice you have a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of enemies at the workplace or a whole lot of enemies around um, your business or work i see hardship for you leos whatever is happening and transpiring you're going through real hardship a real hardship and it has to do with uh, um, a Pisces cancer a scorpion that have uh, gotten you in uh, some sort of a problem and uh, you're really going through a lot of hardship so hardship at the workplace you have a lot of enemy um, whatever is transpiring ab around work there is a lot of enemies so okay yes conflicts at the workplace I see conflicts uh, um, where it could be um, legal issue with your kids with your husband divorce conflicts um that is happening and transpiring okay i see a good news is going to be coming in okay uh good news some sort of a um good news uh, um some sort of an offer and i see you're going to be overcoming um this conflicts good news some sort of an offer and you're going to be um overcoming this conflict so um um whatever the conflicts is you are going to be overcoming this conflict there is some good news that is going to be coming in and we see a lot of you at the workplace is fighting with uh, an aquarian gemini or libra person and whether this person is there, it has to do with some sort of a legal issue um, for some of you. Some sort of a legal issue for some of you. And whatever this legal issue is, so you have a lot of enemies, Leos. There is no um, question about this. And you have a lot of outside influence that is influencing a situation. In your foundation, I see that there is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn woman and a uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman and this uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman is having it very hard. And I see um, whatever your burdens uh, um, that you are having with work, whatever that was transpiring, your burdens with work, um, finding work at the workplace uh, um, is going to be over. So let's um, look. We see emotional situation was caused by the energy of the devil. Um, it was as if someone was trying to add a work against you at the workplace of creating some sort of a problem. And it has to do with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman. Um, whoever the Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman is could have had some sort of a vendetta with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. And I see that, you know, these two um is trying to resolve the situation i see truths is now revealed and you leos are going to be recognized in that you have enemies at the workplace and they're creating a whole lot of issues for you leos and you are worried sick out of your mind you um you know you recognize that you really do have enemies at the workplace and you're very worried 
there is no question about it. You're very worried. You're worried sick out of your mind. What is happening and transpiring? Um, then we um, recognize that uh, um, whoever, you know, there is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, and some of you, it's your parents. So, and I see your parents is trying to help you to resolve this conflict. Okay, it could be some sort of a legal conflict. I see um, a whole lot of worries. You Leos are really worried. Um, it's, you know, the energy of the devil and the moon is together. And it says if you're now recognizing who your enemies were. And the conflicts that you're in, you're now recognizing how you end up in this conflict, okay? So, I see that um, some of you could be ill in a situation with your mom, if your mom is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So, you could be ill in a situation that you have with your mom that is a Scorpion. And I see a problem where a Scorpion wants to resolve a situation with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, whoever this person is, so, and I see truth is going to be coming out. <laughs> Sorry. Truth is going to be coming out. And people are now going to be recognizing what has been going on. And the hardship that a lot of you Leos have been going through. Um, you're open to overcome this hardship. Because a lot of you Leos have been going through some sort of a hardship. Because it's like seven years. I'm looking at it and it's like... A lot of you, Leos, are going through seven years of bad luck. Um, your enemies are going to be taken down. There was a whole lot of conflicts, a whole lot of problems, and your enemies will be taken down. You have a double whammy, and number eight is always infinity, 88, okay? So it is a situation at work, but I see whatever the situation is, is as if some of you, Leos, are blocked. They're recognizing something they're recognizing that someone has created some sort of a blockage for you. Um, so we see that there's a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of you have um, some negative influence at the workplace um, that is affecting you and um, you being at work. Okay, the conflicts. Uh, will the conflicts be ended? I don't know. You're leaving the week with those conflicts and I see um, whatever the burdens and what whatever that was created and whatever that was being affecting you or your work or your business, I see some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in. So what we're seeing here is that we are recognizing that a lot of you are standing your ground trying to protect yourself. And there is a lot of worries because now you're recognizing something and it's very emotional for a lot of you. On Tuesday, um, a lot of you are trying to balance out and is getting a scorpion together to resolve some sort of a situation with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. And you want these two people to resolve whatever is going on. The energy of the devil is high in this week. And um, it's as if your enemies are at you in this week. So be aware. And they're at work or... Um, I'm working against your project or that sort of a thing. So be aware, Leo. Help is going to be coming in. I see some sort of a hardship. And um, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion um, person is going to be, uh, you have been having some sort of a problem with this person. This could have been an ex-boss for some of you. Some of you could be your mom. But I see you're very worried. And this is costing you a lot of a hardship. Well, um, because it's as if the spicy skin or scorpion person created a whole lot of problems and hardship for you. Then we see the energy of uh, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. But it's as if this person is coming in to end a conflict, okay? Because they're not showing up who they are. So whenever they're, they're standing here alone, it's about intermedia. Okay, higher intermediate that is coming in to end this conflict because now they're recognizing what has been happening and what has been transpiring. So I see um a lot of you who um got is going to be getting some sort of an offer, okay, because some sort of an intermediate is going to be coming in, and a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of an offer. All right, let's see what is here. So I see um 
people were pleasure seeking and you were like, I'm not playing, let it go. Um, right now, I need to focus on me. So there was a lot of people that was pleasure seeking and this is negative forces, okay? Negative forces is outside negative people. A whole lot of you are praying, praying and hoping for some sort of a healing um, between a scorpion and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. You are praying that the situation will be healed, okay? Um, you are worried that these two people are at it. But I see that this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is really not looking at the scorpion. I see the scorpion is really worried because the scorpion recognized that they have done um, something against the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that is affecting somehow you Leos are connected is it uh, um these two people and this scorpion has gone too far and i see the scorpion recognize you know i've gone too far with a situation and maybe the scorpion is your mom and the scorpion could have access the stories for where capricorn information and now gave it to you and you're in some problems so I see um, some sort of a news is going to be coming in. The help is going to be coming in. I see some sort of a resolution. I see you are worried. You're worried and you're hoping for some sort of a help to get out of some sort of a hardship. Because there's a whole lot of worries that is going there. A lot of you want to make some sort of a peace or uh, with a mother figure or... Is it a mother figure? Is someone that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person? But this person turned their backs on you and you want to make some sort of a peace with this person. Okay? You really want to go back and make peace with this person because you recognize that it is affecting you a lot. And you want to make peace with this person. A lot of you are hoping, hoping and praying to get a job. But um, there is negative forces and negative outside influences. And a lot of you are praying to get a job. It's as if you are worried um, and you're praying. I see intermediate. I did say to a lot of you that there is going to be a group of people. And there is going to be people that is intermediate. Uh, going to be intermediate in um, some sort of a conflict that is going on. Because now they're looking and they're recognizing what was uh, going on a lot of meetings at the workplace for a lot of you leos in this week and the meetings are going to be thursday and friday a whole lot of meetings a whole lot of gathering um they now recognize that a huge theft was created and they're now recognizing and seeing it uh, that a theft was created okay and uh, a theft was created and it has to do with um, at work or with a business. Um, they're now recognizing that a TEF was created and um, your burdens is going to be um, now down. Okay, so your burdens are going to be ending and the hardship is going to be ending because they now recognize that a TEF was created. So, um, you know, it is um, a serious, a serious situation that is transpiring. Um, and um, if you guys are looking for love, love is here in this week, an offer of love. So I see a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a positive news where people are offering love to you. Um, but it is as if a lot of you out of the blues unexpectedly someone is going to be crossing your part and this is going to be good so i do love you um leos i really do love you um this is like a very positive positive situation um, um especially when it comes up to love um this is just going to be beautiful all of a sudden you are going to be crossing part with someone all right, so they are going to be recognizing that a TEF was created and the problem that is going on between a scorpion and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is that a scorpion woman have stolen a letter and um and created a whole lot of problem. And that is what this is all about. That some of you have caught up in a situation with these two ladies is that a scorpion woman stole some sort of a 
letter, some sort of a message, a letter. This is a letter. They recognize that a scorpion woman has stolen a letter. And I see that is where the hardship came in and they recognized that there was a huge theft at the workplace that has transpired. And this is, I see a whole lot of meetings, a whole lot of meetings and people are looking at information and is recognizing that there was a huge theft and that some sort of a data was accessed and stolen. And people are now going to be recognizing that. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Namaste until next time. Welcome Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this week is the week of the inner goddesses for you Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look and see what's coming up in this week. You have the color orange. Orange, orange, orange. Okay. So we have the energy of the seven of cups and the seven of cups is always about emotional um, and it's always about uh, multiple things, uh, but as, as if some of you were looking for love in this week, uh, there is multiple opportunity there are there, but you are not open for it. I see a lot of you regrets is coming up. Uh, it's going to be a, a very emotional week. Regrets is coming up. Regrets. Uh, I see a, a young Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person um, regrets a situation. Um, some of you could have been in some sort of a relationship with this person. Whatever this person have done, I see you regrets or they regrets. So a judgment call is coming down on um, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And a cycle is not yet over for this person. Whatever this person have done, I see that uh, some of you regretted. And you're standing your ground and protecting yourself from this person. So whoever this person is and whatever has happened and transpired, I see you regret that uh, this situation had to happen like this. You, you really regret it because it's a situation where whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, uh, it could have been a sister, a family member. I see a cycle is not yet over for this person, but you're protecting yourself from this person because some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming down. Because um, I see that this person at multiple, it's as if they had the world in their hands, but yet still, um, because of greed, they have done something and a judgment call is going to be coming down now. I see regrets. You regret that you had collaborated with this person, whoever this person is. It's coming up as a young Capricorn. You have regret. Um, I see. Yes, um, it could be a family member. Uh, you regretted that you have done what you have done to this person or this person you regretted. Because there is um, two judgment call. And this is Friday. Some sort of a judgment call is coming in. It's a very emotional week, especially Monday to Wednesday. It's going to be very emotional. Thursday money could be coming back to you. So that is good. Friday, some sort of information is going to be coming out. And a cycle is not yet over, but you are protecting yourself. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you're definitely protecting yourself. Okay. So a whole lot of emotional. A tower moment is coming down. Sagittarian something, a tower moment, because there was a lot of options in your world. But whatever has transpiring. It's as if some of you have lost sight of that. Yes, a tower moment is coming down for you, ladies. Sagittarian ladies, you had the world in your hands. And because of uh, uh, jealousy, uh, you are going to be losing everything, okay? And I see people are turning their backs on you because a tower moment came down and you're trying to offer love to people um, because you get caught, and you're trying to come back with offering love to people. But I see no one is accepting the love. It's as if you're fired and then you're trying to call up people at the work to ask. But everybody is uh, turning their backs on you. Um, I see that an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man is trying to offer love to you guys. But this is the man that has uh, brought you in this problem in the first place. Okay. I see that you were friends with this man and uh, um, now you are ending this friendship with this man um, because uh, you your whole world is now um, 
fall apart. Um, you know, you had a lot of things going for you, Sagittarian, but because of this man, um, this man is the one that created a whole lot of problem and it's a friend. And I see, you know, the friendship because the two of cups is in reverse and you're ending old contract and old friendship with this man, whoever this man is and was, it was a friend. And now you recognize what this man has brought you in. I see, um, as some sort of an investigation, bring down, um, some sort of a investigation, bring down a huge, um, crash in your world for some of you women, not all of you. Okay. I see a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion, and this is coming up as a young uh, Scorpion. This is definitely a Scorpion. A young Scorpion, whoever this young Scorpion, I see with this tower moment, this young Scorpion is using the sword of truth against you, Sagittarian, okay? And this is a karmatic situation that has been transpired. So, as you come to the weekend, there is going to be some sort of a major, major issue um, that is happening and transpiring. Um, and it is a past life situation with friends, okay? And another um, balance is coming in to heal some sort of a past life issue with friends. So, and um, it is as if you um, ladies have created... A, a whole lot of problems with a friend or a friend of creating a whole lot of problems. I see um, some sort of information is coming in and it's coming in fast and direct. Um, so some sort of a documentation um, is coming in fast, fast and direct. Very fast and direct. Yep. Very fast and direct. Whatever this is and whatever the information is, it's coming in a uh, document, data, information is coming in really fast and direct. So I see um some sort of, you ladies, some sort of a communication came in about the past, about you ladies, and you ladies working together with the Aries the Sagittarian, and there could have been some sort of um uh love emotional there could have been some sort of a relationship between you and this person and i see a huge tower moment where this is going to be handed so whatever the relationship and the friendship between you and this man um it's going to be ending um because i see a scorpion is going to be really speaking up and letting people know that you ladies Together with this man, I've created a whole lot of problems for them. And it's a young scorpion, man or woman. And, you know, whatever is transpiring, the scorpion now regrets. He regrets. And he's saying, don't call me. Don't connect with me. Um, let it go. I just don't want to be associated with you people anymore um, because of what you have done to me. Now, it could be a child. So, um, you Sagittarian, if you're married to... Um, another fire sign person, um, whoever this person is uh, and whatever is going on, I see that a scorpion is going to be really um, removing themselves away from the connection, whether it's your child or it is a young a niece or a nephew, that sort of a thing. But uh, this is a real situation where they're going to be speaking and there's going to be data and information showing up or things that was happening okay so we see the energy on, uh, of uh, um unexpected change and an end an end is here to the friendship between you and a um and your kids um this could be kids i see regrets regrets for a taurus Virgo, a capricorn person regrets i see a some of you men have to pay back um, a whole lot of money. I see um, a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn, a young Capricorn, and a young Scorpion um, is uh, really, really upset over what uh, you Sagittarian women and men have done. So it could be your kids. One is a Capricorn, one is a Scorpion. Um, these kids are very, very upset at the decision that you as a parent 
did for them and they're very very upset okay i see an unexpected and this is monday monday is like uh, unexpectedly a tower um, um, a huge um shift is coming up this is a huge shift because it's going whatever happened on monday is going to be affecting the rest of the week and this is a huge shift and i see some sort of information comes out about you ladies that is creating this huge shift and I see you ladies are trying to comfort either a child or a family member or a friend. And they're like, just do not contact me. Don't contact me. I don't want to have any connection with you anymore. Um, and whether this person is, uh, uh, for some of you is a Capricorn, a young person. And some of you is a Scorpion young person. These people are all younger than 50. And they're like, no, no, no. And you people are older. You Sagittarian are older. And they're like, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, then I see um, uh, they're going to be finding out that uh, you women with another man at sheer uh, love. Okay. So it's as if... Uh, um, you could have had an affair or you share deep love for each other. Fire sign, fire sign, it's always. But this is going to be over because the two of cups is reversed. So this huge love that you both at share is is, is going to be also um, be um, removed because they're going to be recognizing um, what was happening. So I see um, some sort of a information is going to be coming out and I see a scorpion um, could be bringing out this information and is going to be bringing an end. It's as if the scorpion said, "No more. I don't want. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. No more." And I see uh, you ladies, but not only you ladies that are ending is coming from you ladies and a friend that is a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Um, a tower moment is going to be coming down. For this person um too okay and they're going to be recognizing that you ladies at sheer great love for another aries leo or fire sign man so ladies it's coming up uh whether or not you want it to come out it is here but i see you have no more love towards this person because this person have cost you um a whole lot okay and monday is when you're going to be recognizing how much this person has cost you because uh, that is when the devastation is going to be coming down. Friendships, you're trying to um, balance out some sort of a friendship with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Um, um, you, you men, it, this could be a child or this could be an adopted child and you recognize what this person have done and you know, you men have a lot of regrets because you're looking at this person because it's definitely an adopted child. And it's about children, adopted children in this week where there is some major, major issue that is going on. Um, Some sort of information came out and I see regrets, a whole lot of regrets, a whole lot of regrets. And I see a young scorpion is going to be putting an end to this and it's saying no more. No more. So it's going to be basically an emotional week, very emotional week, because some sort of a data that is going to be coming in where a scorpion person um, could be saying something or bringing in some sort of a data. And this is like, this is a karmatic situation that is going on. And it could be you people and your kids and your grandkids, that sort of a thing. But I see sadness. This week is a week of emotional regret for you, Sagittarian, because some sort of information from the past came out. And a Scorpion person who had showed you love in the past have turned their backs on you. And um, it could be your child. If you have a child that is a Scorpion, they have turned their backs on you. And they're like, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with whatever is going on. Um... I don't want any more connection with you. Um, you know, I'm I'm ending this connection. Whatever has transpired, let it go. So it could be a child. So you men are having it with your um Capricorn child uh, children. 
And you women are having it with both Capricorn children and Scorpion children. And this is a serious situation that is going on because uh, this shift that is coming in where is a huge dramatic shift for a lot of you women. And it's going to be affecting friends and it's going to be affecting your kids because of something what you Sagittarian have done. All right. So I see now um, a corporation institution is not recognizing what was going on. And a corporation institution recognized that you lay this as the um, uh, falsified or create double uh, contracts. Because here it's the seven of cups with a whole lot of contract and a tower moment. They're going to be ending and shutting down all the contract um, that you ladies have created. Okay. All the contract. All the contracts that you ladies have created, you're going to be shutting it down. I see there was some sort of a um, problem. So. Hmm. Where you Sagittarians were dealing with a government institution, and this government institution is going to be um, ending some sort of a contract for um, you Sagittarians. And let's say that you Sagittarian had some sort of a business with your husband, your partner. This contract is going to be ending. The Two of Cups is in reverse, okay? And um, some of you are going to be canceling some sort of a contract that you had with uh, Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man. You recognize that this man has gone too far um, by uh, doing something that was not above water. Okay. They recognize what a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, they recognize that um, this man has used... Uh, the date and information of a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn to facilitate is wealth, okay? I see regrets, regrets, and regrets, a whole lot of regrets, um, especially if you're in a relationship with a scorpion, especially a lot of you women are regretting, you regret so much a situation that is transpiring. Um, I see there a judgment call is coming down and a scorpion is re um is taking back uh, um their financial um assets. A scorpion is really standing their grounds and is really um getting or taking back uh, their uh it's like um their materialistic wealth. Whatever that has happened and transpired, a scorpion is saying, no, 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 um, it's mine. I'm taking it back. It's from my parents. I'm taking it back. Um, that sort of a thing. So I see a scorpion um, is going to be, uh, and it's a young scorpion. So, um, you know, it could have been that some of you were supposed to be um, the guardian or trustee for your niece or nephew. And um, you have uh, um, created some sort of a problem and they are going to be removing you as trustee, okay? Um, I see uh, Capricorn could be um, really going to jail, whether this Capricorn is and whatever is transpiring. Um, yeah, a Capricorn could be going to jail. Let's see, it, it is a Capricorn. Regrets, regrets, regrets. And a scorpion woman is going to go to jail for what she has done. So a scorpion woman have created a whole lot of problems for a young scorpion man, okay? And they're now recognizing, and I see, yeah, a scorpion woman is going to be going to jail. Um, Some sort of a government institution, organization have recognized uh, um, what a scorpion woman have done is as if the scorpion woman have done something in the past and and it, it comes back in the future and now they're going to be dealing with it because I see um, government authorities is coming down. So it's as if some of you Sagittarian women who works with government authority or something um, where you access people data and information, um, you could have made some sort of a 
double contracts for people and it is now coming up and a government um, institutes a corporation is now getting to the bottom of it and investigating it and seeing this happen a lot of you um couple there is some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up with your business so be aware now i see a scorpion woman recognize that she is caught okay whoever the scorpion woman is I've tried to do something against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and they caught this person because they recognized that this woman could have accessed some sort of a data and information from a government institution on the false pretend and tried to get away with a whole lot of money and they caught her and is going to go to jail. Wow. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I can't I can't imagine um I can't imagine why would you want to steal something is not yours, so why would you you're mentally not good? You you, you know and, and, and this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta recognize so uh, that if something is not yours, you cannot um, be um, jealous of another person. You know, um, think about it. If if you didn't have something and you doesn't, you don't, you don't have something and you don't have the ways and means of getting this thing. It's because you were not meant to have it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not going to go in this because I can't, I still don't understand the whole thing of people just stealing from another person. It's not yours. So why are you taking it? It's just not yours. And this person tried to um, take a lot of uh, uh, money using someone else's and they have, uh, they have called this person. This person is going to be going to jail. Yes, Falsita. Falsita. I told you they caught this person. Yes, they caught this person. Um, so a lot of you have been protecting yourself from a real disaster, a scorpion who tried to take uh, um money um or take uh, um a lot of wealth from you. And they caught the scorpion, a judgment call. And it's a, it's a scorpion person. And this person is going to go to jail for what they have done. They're going to be coming down on this person very hard. And this person was trying to use um, data and information and, 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 and get, a, a, um, oh, my God. They now recognize it. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. They now also recognize that this Aries Leo is Sagittarian man. I've used a young um a young Capricorn information to acquire a whole lot of wealth. A whole lot of wealth. Okay, and and, and this is a, he's going to uh, see some sort of a jail time because they recognize um that he lied and used a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn information and child information or relative information to acquire a whole lot of wealth i don't know that then then you know you know someone leave leave the answer at the bottom of this reading seriously if something is not yours okay why are you going to be taking it you know it's, it's a question have you people ever recognized that uh, if you take something and steal from another person, something which is not yours, it was not meant for you, it's not your parents, it's not, isn't, you know, don't you recognize or um, don't people recognize that they are mentally in balance? Okay, because it's as if you think that everything 
is yours and another person who has something you will need to have that thing also and that is just mentally off because i cannot see my neighbor and just walk inside my neighbor's house and pick up something it's like walking in your neighbor's house picking up something and walk out no matter if your neighbor is your mom or your parents uh, that is not the way you do you know and if you see someone if someone else had better options in their life and you're going to be stealing their identity and their information to acquire wealth for yourself, you are a criminal, okay? And you are mentally not normal, okay? Because you are overgoing the bounds of another person. So leave a message um, um, at the bottom. But anyway, they're going to catch Falsita. I do love you guys. I got to go. Welcome, Ophiosis. Ophiosis, endings and beginning, Ophiosis, endings and beginning. You have the blue, blue energy that's been healing. So the hold must be released so that the new can come in. The hold must be really released so that the new can come in. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energy, Kali. I love Kali. Um, it is the goddess Kali. And she is saying you need to end. Um, and that's why you're leaving old friends behind. You need to end the relation with these people to get a new start. Success, Ophiosis. Success, Ophiosis. Success over a situation that has been going on. You, Ophiosis, are going to be very, very successful in this week. Success um, over a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion person. Um, information came out, the truth came out about this person, what this person have done. Light has been shed on this person. Um, and I see this person is having it hard to deal with whatever came out. And I see you, Ophiosis, are going to be receiving a new start. So, wonderful, wonderful energy. Ooh, so you have um, two, three major arcana, and this is good. I see light has been shed on a scorpion or a Pisces Cancer or a scorpion. People are recognizing what this person has done. Um, I see that some sort of a decision is going to be coming in. Information came out about this person and light has been shed on this person. I see that um, there is some sort of a um, decision that needs to be made about this person. And I see that a whole lot of you Ophiosis are going to be regaining some sort of a new start. So that is good. <coughs> Whoever this person is, you have successfully overcome this person because people recognize what this person has done. And I see this person is having it hard to deal with the information that came out about them. So I see truths is coming out. You are going to be receiving some sort of a news, um, some sort of a surprising news about um, a project, a business, or a new business is going to be coming in. They recognize the lies and deceptiveness that was going on. And people now recognize. And I see they came down on a... Gemini and a Libran, okay? They recognize that a Gemini and a Libran had lied. Some sort of a new start is going to be coming up for you, Ophiosis, okay? And um, you have a double whammy. Um, light is going to be shed, so um, truth is coming out. So um, whenever the sun and the hermit comes up, hey, you are going to be realizing things that you were not aware of. They recognize what a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, and a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn have done. They have now recognized what these two people have done. You're going to be celebrating overcoming a Cancer and a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They now recognize what these two people have done. You're standing your grounds and is protecting yourself, Ophiosis, protecting yourself from a Libran. Whoever this Libran is and whatever is going on, I see you're going to be overcoming this Libran woman. It's a Libran woman. 
you're successfully overcoming this Libran woman. This Libran woman had worked with a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion to create a whole lot of issues. And I see you, Ophiosis, is going to be overcoming this. A new offer is going to be coming in and a new contract and a new offer is going to be coming in. So if a lot of you were looking for work or love, uh, work or love um, expect uh, a new offer of love or work to come in some of you could be um meeting your twin flame also in this timeline in this week so the energy of the sun on monday sun monday is going to be a very good day for you guys so monday and friday it's going to be a very good day all right so light has been shared on your project people um uh, have uh, a new uh, you know positive news about your work and your business what you do um a whole lot of people is not recognizing a whole lot of recognition is going to be coming to you ophiosa so on tuesday there is going to be some sort of a decision that is going to be made um because of a gemini whoever this gemini is they recognize that this gemini had lied they are also on Tuesday is going to be recognizing that this Gemini had lied to get some sort of a new sort and had collaborated with a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. They're recognizing the truth about these people and what these people have done, that these people have all collaborated and lied and the truth is now out. So then we see the energy of... Uh, um on uh, um wednesday you are dealing with two young people okay they could be sister or brothers or they could be friends and you also recognize the lies and the deceptiveness of these two young people light has been shed that these two young people had collaborated um to create some sort of a problems and issue and you also are going to be successfully overcoming um, a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion and a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. People now recognize that these two people had collaborated. I see you are protecting yourself from these two people. Maybe it's your kids or maybe it's two younger people and you're protecting yourself from them. You are going to be very, very successful. I see a Cancer and um, they have recognized and found data and information over a Cancer. And this Cancer is really having it hard. This cancer is trying to find the inner strength to, um, to deal with what they have done. Is facing up to their demons. Light is now been shed on a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, and they recognize what this young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person have done together with a cancer, and they're now recognizing the foul play of these people. So truth is going to be coming out about a group of friends. And it is uh, two persons that has collaborated together, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and a Cancer, Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion person. Light is now shedding on what they have done. A whole lot of you are protecting yourself from a Sagittarius, okay? Whoever the Sagittarius is had collaborated also with them and a lot of you are definitely protecting yourself from a Sagittarius. All right, so that was clear. So light is going to be shedding. Um, and I see a lot of you are going to be awarded for successfully overcoming a situation. I see you successfully overcome a Libra and a Gemini, the lies of a Libra and a Gemini. People now recognize the truth. And I see some judgment call is going to be coming out on a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And I see you're trying to protect uh, yourself and protect some sort of uh, information that was given out because they recognize uh, um, that a Libran, the lawyer of a cancer, had lied and created some sort of uh, problems. Okay. All right, let's go in it. Sadness, sadness, sadness. A lot of you are going to be overcoming um, whatever sadness that was going on. Truth is going to be um, coming out, okay? I see um, um, that a Gemini wants to come back and apologize to some of you um, for what has transpired. So I see a Gemini recognized that there was a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness of a Libran recognized that there was a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness. And this Libran wants to come back and apologize to you for what has transpired. 
um Ophios is men the sadness is going to be over with your business or your project because uh, um, you're going to be having some sort of a new start with your business and project. They recognize that a cancer um, and, a, and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person was a false, okay? They were the fox. They recognize that these two people, a cancer and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, um, had collaborated together and they are now recognized that do, these two people are false. I see sadness is coming up for these two people. There is now an investigation that is taking place, and um, I see that they're investigating a Libra, a Libra and their friends, and they're investigating a Libra, a older Libra woman, because they recognize that a older Libra woman together with a young Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person, and a cancer person have created a whole lot of problem. They're now investigating a Leo man and a Sagittarian man. These are two um, businessmen, a Leo man or a Sagittarian man and a cancer man. So an investigation is taking place. So, and this could be a situation at work or in your private life where they're investigating a cancer man, a Leo man and a Sagittarian man. I see some sort of a news is going to be coming in. Um, yep, some sort of a news is going to be coming in that is going to be shedding light, um, telling you that a cancer and a Capricorn person is the one that had created a whole lot of problems, okay? So this situation is that sadness is going to be coming in for a young Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, and a Cancer, because they have investigated these people and recognized that these people has been defrauding and uh, creating a whole lot of issue. I see um, they recognize that a, a Cancer and a Capricorn have lied, okay? Um, it is it is it is more a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. They recognize that these people had lied. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out. Some of you men could be um getting some sort of a news that your health with your health. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, they recognize um that a young a young Libran could be coming back to a lot of you, or a young Capricorn could be coming back to a lot of you to apologize. Okay, so there was some sort of a, a lies and deceptiveness, and I see um, that a young Capricorn wants some sort of a new start and wants to return to you to apologize. Now, whoever this young Capricorn is, they recognize that this young Capricorn and a Cancer was trying to get some sort of a new start, and they have caught these people. I see that they're investigating a Libra woman, whoever this Libra woman is. Um, this Libra woman have collaborated with these three young people and has given them some sort of a data and information. And they are now investigating a cancer and a Libra and recognizing that this older cancer person and this, uh, this older Libra person and this cancer person and this Libran have given the cancer some sort of a data and information. And I see truths is now being revealed. They are now investigating a cancer businessman and an Aries businessman. And they recognize some sort of a false act that was created by these two people. Wow. Ophio says, you always surprise me. I do love you guys. The love readings are out. Go check it out. Um, in order to see the extended of the love readings, you know what to do. Do the join button. I do love you. Namaste. Until next time.